Hello Scrappers, let me show you easy and quick way to recover hidden MLCCs. In the old electronics you can find this um, ceramic-like uh, elements and if you carefully look at them you will see that there are certain uh, like uh, hidden electronic elements inside. Let me uh, show you in all of them. So I've seen such in the Russian ones, in Bulgarian ones, I've seen such in East European, but I've seen also in West European electronics, similar, similar like this, hidden MLCCs in ceramics. And uh, what are the approaches to recover these MLCCs? You have to somehow remove the ceramics. You can burn this, uh, which uh, is not nice because it smells awful and uh, takes time and you invest money, energy and time and uh, in general I'm not a big fan of burning or incinerating electronic elements. It's not good for the environment or not good at all, let's say, for anyone that is uh, around while they're burning. Smoke is awful and smell is awful. So that's why I decided to use second approach. I will use dimethyl sulfoxide. Uh, this is a really popular organic solvent and this organic solvent as per many videos on internet can uh, dissolve these um, ceramics and expose the MLCCs so we can easily remove them from these electronic components and it's really easy because the MSO is organic solvent but it's something like polar non-polar it's a strange one it's not, not toxic which is great I'm not saying it doesn't smell so I awful <laughs> sometimes but uh, it's not toxic which is good it's less to toxic than the alcohol and it uh, if you look carefully here you can see that the boiling point is 189 degrees celsius or 372 fahrenheit which is pretty high so you can speed up this reaction heating the solution with the um, with, with this electronic ceramic components inside so let's do this. I'll put them in this beaker like this and I'll cover them with a small amount of organic solvent. I said small amount, it's maybe not that small, but that's fine. So what is the price of the MSO? I find it at about uh, uh, probably 25 euro per liter and I put here 100 milliliters now but you definitely can go with 50 for that amount and you can reuse the solvent which is really important because this solvent nothing happens happens to it it's 99% clear uh, solution uh, so it's really pure and nothing will happen to it if you reuse it because uh, some of the dye, some of the ceramics will dissolve, but uh, you can use it two, three times, as I do, and it still works. What is the next step? Let's go now and put this beaker and heat it. And let's see how long it will take these ceramics to dissolve into the DMSO. Okay guys, so it's just uh, probably 30 seconds after I put this solution uh, to be heated here and you can see that color already started changing to to uh, orange or reddish it's from the ceramics that is dissolving now and the temperature is 100 degrees as i said boiling temperature is 189 so you still have enough uh, how to say you have at least 100 degrees until this will start boiling uh, so let's go closer so you'll be able to see in more details what's going on. You see how the ceramics is started to slowly uh, increase the volume so the solvent is going inside and uh, it doubling the size of the ceramics. So let's uh, leave it for five minutes and I'll be back to show you the result. Okay guys, it's at about 6-7 minutes after the reaction started and you can see that all the ceramics 
all the ceramics inside it's like uh, almost destroyed now let me quickly steer this so you can see that some of these are the whole pieces of the ceramics faulting so the MSO is doing a great job with with most of these and always use gloves and rubber gloves preferably not latex latex gloves are not that good because I can tell you something interesting the MSO has a really really interesting uh, behavior let's say if you if you if it goes to your skin you may be one of the lucky people that will get onion taste in their mouth for a while lasts a couple of hours so it's really interesting how the MSO going to your skin can change your taste perception but that's why I always use uh, I use this under some ventilation because I don't want to all this to go to the air to my skin to break it it's it's not toxic but just imagine having onion taste in your mouth for next six hours sounds really weird isn't it <laughs> and of course this ceramics goes into the solution into the solution you have no idea what what it is so just oh if, if you do these experiments always be careful and extra cautious your wife uh, is, is more important than well-being and health is more important than uh, 0 0.01 gram of palladium no one cares about this palladium you have to be healthy so let's leave it for another 20 minutes and I will be back to check if all this ceramics is uh, dissolved I see small bubbles here maybe you can see them small bubbles are coming from here and there so reaction is going really really quickly okay guys so it's at about 45 minutes after reaction started and I think a long time ago we are ready let me stop the ventilation so you can better hear me and let's look together what we have in this I'll stop also the heating so you see so many small ceramic pieces floating around and our all of them are big white uh, covered with MLCC's electronic elements here they are so let's check what happened for the red ones it's clear obviously it worked well but was it the same for all of these Okay, so I will rinse it with water because that's I will not use this. And I can tell you it smells not really pleasant, but it's really good that it is not. So that's what is left. Look at it. Okay, let's put aside this solution and now let's see what happened with the ceramics. I think there is one more piece left here. Here it goes. So we are, we are ready with, with this stuff. Uh, let me just well rinse it. And of course, you have to properly dispose this. I have a friend of mine that is running a chemical facility so he's kindly taking all my solutions and uh, dirty uh, stuff but let's focus here now look at this element everything is removed so there is no and let me rinse it here we go okay so there is nothing left on top but also I see that these are not MLCC's these are some other stuff 
Let's check the others. This is the same story. You see how easy ceramic disassembles and, you, and exposes the elements under it. Really nice. And here is the same story. Another one. So it's really easy to remove the ceramics. It's softened and it falls really easily from the boards. Let's check the other ones. What about this? Oh yes, it's the same here. So it's really softened. Probably for these so-called rockets will be needed some more time because the ceramics is softened. You see how it's falling? You can scratch it easily. You can remove the ceramics really easily. Here it comes. Whole pieces are falling from it. Nice electronic components after the uh, spending 45 minutes in the MSO. So you see that all the ceramics now can be easily cleaned. It's it's really easily folding and you see I have no gloves because I wash them multiple times with water. So now I can just remove the extra ceramics and clean up. But if you look from the other side, here are the OCCs. You see how I can clean between them. It's so easy. Here you go. So these are the MLCCs and you see also other electronic elements. But now this extremely difficult to remove ceramics is something that you just touch it with a small screwdriver and it falls. So this is completely different story. If you do a recovery of the uh, MLCCs from this electronic element. So it's completely different and look at these MLCCs. These are really good quality ones. Let's check one more like this. So you see how it falls? All the ceramics is softened now. So you can you can literally you know remove it let's say in two seconds all this can be scratched off. Of course I, I was in a hurry and I removed it at about 45 minutes after the action started. But um, if you are not so impatient as I am, you can leave this for the whole day. And when you and here is one, here you, you can see two really good quality MLCCs. Here they are in the middle. Let's check the other side. Probably there is nothing, but it's a really good example to see how the ceramics is completely disintegrated. So you just use a small screwdriver and you can remove all these ceramics really quickly. And here are the MLCCs. There are two on this one, really good quality ones. But let's check this one. Is this here the same? Yes, it's the same here with these white ones. Let's quickly remove this how many MLCCs we have here, let's check. So it's like uh, probably, probably I'm saying there are two. Yes, there are two. Here is the first one and here is the second one. And you see how easy the ceramics falls. There is nothing on the other side. I can show you quickly. So it's that easy. Now it's rinsed with water. There is no smell. So I, I will wash them one more time. But in general, the MSO is doing amazingly good job. So let's speed up this a little. 
and let's see what will happen at the end, what we will have. 